want to be a comic artist. So. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. So lucky in me, so. Come on, Come back, Korea. Video he a Chinese roommate who is um Mizo video Xiang Xiang react to in Kasoma plus a and lao Chinese food chatak that there means um means um salakalom and um you can have your self introduction now. Hi everybody, I'm an inter uh, international student at Paris University and I'm currently studying art. I want to be a comic artist, so you guys can feel free to check out my Instagram and Twitter. I post on there my artwork. Yeah, and I'll link her Instagram and Twitter um, down below. So the first video that she's going to react to is um, Mizo Attire, and this is it. 2.0. I like this white one. The white color one? Yeah. yeah, it's cute. Yeah, this one as well. Like, like the beach one? Yeah. Okay. Like a date model. Yeah. There's actually like one Zara like jacket I want to get. Uh -huh. That looks kind of like this. Like yeah. Okay, so like, do you want to talk about what food you made today? Um. Yeah. I'm uh, making. Um, she's so nice. Egg, roast eggplants. Oh, you? Yeah, you? we can show them. Like yeah. this is this is the chicken. Yeah, that's and actually my girlfriend's recipe. And, oh. Yeah, and she made it like way better than I can make it. Like, how do you actually make that? Is it like? Oh, uh, just boil the chicken and add um, tons of Chinese spices in it. It's actually the taste is actually really Chinese. This one I have the Chinese taste. Mm. Lauren's contribution. He cook it. I didn't make it, <laughs> but this is kimchi. <laughs> Roasted eggplants with a lot of garlic on it. I'm from not northern part of China. I'm from not northern part, and that's actually how we roast oh, wow. eggplants. So like, how do you eat it with chopstick? I don't know how to eat it with chopstick. Um, how do you like? Just dig, dig into some, and then voila! Check that out. Can you see that? Wow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <coughs> There's some tissue. <laughs> so embarrassing. No, like that happens. <coughs> what is this one? This one is uh, actually Chinese sour cabbage but like it tastes like sauerkraut but it's like Chinese more than ch Chinese version of it okay. so that's actually the same cooking method like grill it in a tin foil this one is uh, oyster oil chicken wing and like that's children's favorite in China I'm so lucky that's how we say I'm so lucky in Mizo like, you know how you know how like you kind of have don'ts in Chinese when you say e, 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 oh, like oh. I feel like Mizo is a lot like that the last sound do you intentionally make it shorter yeah. instead of kavonito you say yeah. yeah Chinese and Mizo e anmonotona so I feel like it's like that yeah. Uh, let me just like tell them. I can in that I move in that apartment that hang it took on top, but then like um, she moved in in July and um, got home was like very so and I thought she was like so pretty. I was like, and, really? but then like yeah, I thought you were like so pretty, and then you were wearing like really baggy clothes, uh -huh. 
Aww. and I was like, wow, so I kind of dressed boyish, uh -huh. but on top of that, you were like so pretty. But oh then, like, gosh. yeah, masaya i kan landlord then kan kanin how like hania to a ton landlord de i in the swat he do ha kan do tapa. Um, you know, like we were fighting with our landlords, mm -hmm. and we were hoping that you could fight with our landlord. Mm -hmm. But then when I saw you, I'm like, shit, she's not gonna fight. She looks way too sweet. <laughs> like that. Actually, that's not because I'm sweet. Because <laughs> I cannot get anything done. Like anything important, don't entrust me with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and like your first impression of me? Actually, this is not for the video. This is genuine. Uh -huh. Like. When I first met Soren, I was like, you guys should really get to know her. Like, she is like the most energetic and really? cheering person, you know. Like, she is, I feel like she cares a lot about how other people feel and like not in a bad way. Like, mm -hmm. you take care of others who are like very, when she's around people, she always show her cheerful self. And I really want to like be like her. Like oh, that's that's, that's what I want to be like. So this is like one of our miso festival. When so is like, this? This is in March. Oh yeah. So our ancestors were farmers and practiced what is called shifting cultivation, cultivating within the season and then harvesting, followed by clearing and burning the remnants. Miso people have a festival they celebrate after completion of their most difficult tests. This is Tatar Kun. Anyway, today in modern Missouri, people bust down the traditional dresses and gather in huge crowds and showcase the traditional dances, the wisdom and ways of life, keeping the culture alive. March? Yeah, like spring. Why is why are you harvesting a spring? Um, I feel like the harvesting is done around um, December, January uh -huh. and then they burn the land uh -huh. like they clear up the land and then they try for to the next season. yeah for the next crop mm -hmm. and then during the time when they're waiting for the crops to like grow mm -hmm. they have nothing to do oh. and they have like stockpile of foods already uh -huh. so they're kind of like celebrating that you know that time when uh -huh. they're free uh -huh. yeah I wow. feel like yeah but like, what is like the Moon Festival? Moon Festival is um, is also for celebrating harvesting season, and um, what is significant about like we're celebrating the night when the moon is full mm -hmm. is because full moon means union with family in Chinese. It means completion. So this festival we usually celebrate with our family together. So. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm so like this is so good. This is so good. The sauerkraut, like <laughs> it tastes no, it tastes so good. It tastes like yeah. Sauerkraut, she's right? such a like um a tourist town topa, and I'm very lucky. Kavan Um yeah, and I just want to like make a comment on that real quick. Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's so vibrant, and so cheerful, and so good, and so yes, respect. Yeah, Terry Lunglen Gang. Lunglen means like kind of lonely. Is that kind of Romeo, Romeo and Juliet thing that they are together? I'm so bad. The name of that soup is translated to forget about love. And if you love someone, like really, you don't want to forget about them. See you next Monday. Bye!